This video is going to show you how to use the snipping tool in Windows 7 to take a little picture of part of the screen, save it to a file, and then upload it into a Google Doc. So I've got my screen already showing in Chrome in this case. So I'm going to take a little snippet of it. To do that, I'm going to press the Windows key. If you look down at the keyboard on our Lenovo computers, there's a space bar. To the left of that, there's an Alt key, and then there's the Windows key. It has the Windows Microsoft emblem on it. I'm going to press that key once little search box pops up and I'm going to begin to type snip and it comes up with snipping tool. Since that's my only thing that came up it's already been highlighted for me so I don't need to select it with the mouse I will just press the enter key to automatically select it since it was highlighted and now it's popped up I can choose what kind of snip I want to take so if I click on the little box you can see the options free form, regular snip, window snip, full screen I'm going to choose a rectangular snip and then I'm going to go to my screen and drag the cursor to make a rectangle around what I want to snip. And you can see the control box that I had just disappeared. That's what I want to take a snip of. Drag the mouse around it to get it. Release the mouse. There it is. I can edit this and draw something with a pen or the highlighter or the eraser, but instead I'm just going to save it. So I'm going to click on the diskette icon. Not that computers have a diskette, but it means save. So I'll click on the diskette icon to save it. I'm going to put it in my pictures library, and I'm just going to call it clip or clipping actually. And I'm saving it, save the file type as a PNG, Portable Network Graphic File. This Portable Network Graphing File can be used on the on any type of uh, web browser. So that's why I want to save it like that. Click on Save. Now I'm all set. Now all I've got to do is insert that into my Google Doc. I'm going to close the window and go to my Google Doc that I already started. It says replace this image, this text with your image. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that with my mouse, press the delete key, then I'm going to go to the insert menu at the top of the screen, click on that, go down to where it says image, first choice, click on that, window pops up in the middle of it, it says choose an image to upload. I'm going to click on that blue box to choose my image, and in this case I'm going to navigate over to my pictures over here on the left hand side and look for clipping, there it is, click on it once and then I'll click on the open button and now it's uploading it it's all set my document it's a little too big I'm gonna click on it in my document I'm gonna grab one of the corners and I'm gonna drag it inwards kinda of diagonally to make it a little bit smaller and I'm all set now my image fits just fine on my document